Hello everybody a warm welcome to your year six to seven transition geography lesson um, here from Dean Trust Rosebridge. My name is Mr Humphreys and I am one of the geography teachers here at school. We also have Mrs Brady who's another geography teacher and you guys will be studying geography um, twice a week when you join us in September. Now obviously the idea would be that normally you would come to us around this time of the year for a transition day and you would get to meet us we would get to meet you and get to know a little bit more about you and show you what geography is like here at Rosebridge however for obvious reasons this year that can't happen so therefore we are creating this little lesson for you to have a look at and to get a little feel for geography before you join us in September okay so what I will say is it's quite a short video all you have to do is do the little tasks throughout this video and just keep pausing the video and let yourself give yourself plenty of time to be able to get through the activities and the tasks okay so give yourself plenty of time make sure you pause the video whether you are at school with your teacher with your pupils around you um, and your friends or whether you are at home and maybe you've got your parents or your carers around you to help you as well okay so just take your time and um, enjoy this lesson so we're going to look at how can we make our planet a better and a cleaner place so think about where you live and many of you lot will be from wigan if you're coming to dean's trust rosebridge some of you may come from further afield but many of you will be from wigan so i'd like you to think about now how can we make wigan how can we make your planet a better and a cleaner place if you have other pupils around you feel free to have a little conversation have a talk to your teacher if your teacher's there or if you're at home maybe get your brother or your sister or your carer or your parents and just have a little think about what you can do to make our planet better and cleaner and to do that you may want to pause this video just for a few moments Okay, so hopefully you've had a little think about it and some ideas that may have cropped up into your head thinking about how we can make the planet better. All right. So moving forward with the worksheet that you have been provided with and the box, the geography box with the mind map ready for you. What I'd like you to do, please, is add different ideas to your mind map about what you could do to make your local area and the environment better. Okay, there are some pictures on there for ideas for you, for example, solar panels. Uh, much better for the environment and there you can see in the bottom left some different colored bins now i'm from wigan myself so i know in wigan we have green bins for the garden waste we have brown bins for bottles um, and we have the blue bin for the cardboard here in wigan okay it's different in different places i used to work in salford and in salford the bottle bin is a pink bin so different places have different colors However, it all does the same thing, it all recycles and it's a good thing we can do for the environment, okay? So again, pause this video and write as many ideas on your mind map as you possibly can. Right, okay, hopefully you've managed to have a think of some ideas. Again, share your ideas with people around you, whether it be family, whether it be other pupils, whether it be your teacher, and I'm sure you will have plenty of ideas and geography, a lot of geography, is thinking about all of those improvements that we can make to our planet to make it a better place to live and a better place to bring up our families. Okay. So some of these, uh, these are some of the ideas that myself and Miss Brady here at Rosebridge came up with. So we've got things like recycling more, which I spoke about earlier. We have got LED light bulbs. LED light bulbs are much more common than they were when I was younger. And LED light bulbs save a lot of energy, so they're much better for the environment. Down at the bottom, you may not have seen these before, toilets which save water. So smaller buttons to use less water so you can save water instead of having to have a huge flush every single time. We've also got electric cars, which are becoming far more common and, you, common, and you should be able to see my mouse over here as well, just in the right place. Electric cars are coming, becoming far more common here in the UK, and you may notice that uh, many car parks, for example, supermarket car parks now, have electric car charging ports, okay? So as time goes on, and as your generation gets older, more and more electric cars will come onto the roads, and the chances are that when you guys are older, you will be driving electric cars and they are better for the environment and hopefully they'll also be better for your pockets because it will obviously be much cheaper to charge a car than to fill it with petrol 
We've also got solar panels in the bottom left. We've got walking more. And again, that's much better for the environment because walking does not release carbon dioxide. It doesn't burn fuel. And it's healthy for us as people. Okay, so try and walk more. And that's something we can do. And that's something we could do now, isn't it? You could cycle more as well. Got at the top as well, use less heating. And as I've become an adult and I bought my own house, I'm always saying to my children, turn the heating off because the heating uses a lot of electric and it also costs a lot of money as well. So better for the environment, use less heating and put some jumpers on. Okay, and I'm sure many of your parents and carers will also be saying the exact same thing. So there are plenty of ideas there on how we can be environmentally friendly. And before you start with us at Rosebridge, it's a really good idea to have a think of those things because they make up a very, very important part of geography. Geography is, of course, about the planet. It's, of course, about countries and where continents are and where rivers are and all these things. But geography is also looking at us as human beings our impact on our planet and what we can do to make it a better place. Okay. So the next big question, what can we do if we go on a holiday? Now, when you go on a holiday, you have a huge impact on the environment around you, whether it be Blackpool, whether it be Southport, whether it be Spain, Benidorm, uh, even further afield, America, or if you're going visiting somewhere really exotic like Thailand or the Philippines, wherever you go, you have a huge impact. So what we're going to look at next is how we can potentially reduce our impact when we go on holiday, especially with the summer holidays approaching. Okay, so it says we all love a holiday, whether it be spending time away from school or work going to Blackpool, or even going abroad. However, we often have a big impact on the environment when we do. So if you look at some of those images that you can see on the screen, those images show you the impacts that people have on our environment when we go away, and whether that be in this country or further afield. If you go further afield, you may well get a plane. A plane releases lots of fumes into the atmosphere and causes a lot of pollution. So that's a really bad start, isn't it? Unfortunately, when many people get to the beach, maybe by mistake, but often on purpose, people leave litter behind. And this causes a huge issue, not only for the local people, because it's not nice to look at, but also for other tourists and obviously for the animals that live there as well. It's a danger. And there is a huge issue now at this planet to do with plastics and plastics around the sea and plastics on the beaches. And it's actually one of the topics that you study when you join us in year seven at Rosebridge, looking at the impact that all this plastic is having on our coastal environments, okay? And you look in the bottom right, you can see this man here is cleaning up the rubbish and the litter that has been left, okay? So there are lots of impacts that we have as human beings on our environment, whether it be a home or whether we go on holiday, okay? So this next screen and this forms the part of the main task, okay? It says, think about how we could reduce our impact on the environment when we go on holiday. What we would like you to do in the box that you've got on your sheet is to design a poster which encourages people to look after the environment and give them ideas on what they can do to make our holidays environmentally friendly. So there are obviously quite a number of things you could think about here. And a lot of them actually are shown on this diagram to the right. So if you start in the purple section, so before you go, we've got some ideas. For example, share toiletries. Obviously, toiletries, many of them are packaged in plastic. If you share them amongst you, say you're going on a holiday, let's say with three or four friends, and you share a bottle of shower gel or you share a bottle of toothpaste, you are going to save on waste. So that is a really good start to have. There's many other things that aren't here as well. For example, you could try and get to your holiday. You could maybe holiday much closer to home and therefore you wouldn't have to get on a plane. That's just an example. When you're traveling, if you're in an airport, you could use reusable clear bags. You, many of you, if you've been to an airport, you may have seen that um, to get on the plane, you have to put certain liquids and moisturizers and things into small clear bags. 
um, and it's a security thing. However, you could reuse those bags instead of having to throw them and damage the environment. You could use reusable bottles with water instead of buying new bottles all the time. You could use reusable cutlery if you're going to have a meal um, as you're traveling on a plane or in your car or, or at a motorway service station. Okay. All these things on this diagram are all things that you can do to make your holiday more environmentally friendly. So your task for the rest of this lesson and the rest of this video is to create that poster talking about and informing people how they can make their own holidays environmentally friendly. Okay. Um, you can pause this video. You can spend the rest of the time having to go at that poster and we'll make a little competition to see who we think designs the best one. So thank you very much. I will look forward to seeing you in September um, and so will Mrs. Brady as well. Again, finish this video, have a go at the poster, pause it if you want to use that, uh, that diagram and have a go at that poster for us. Thank you.